Who's ready to make their own crazy creative birdhouse, gardeners? All you'll need is a craft store birdhouse, some paint, and any leftover crafting materials that you have around the house. I've chosen to use leftover beads, leftover felt, a little bit of clay, paint, I have a hot glue gun, and scissors. Head to a local craft store and pick up a birdhouse of your choice. They even have some 99 cent mini options. First, paint the base layer color on your birdhouse. We'll give this time to dry as we create all the other elements of our craft. Get creative and colorful here. Do whatever you feel looks fun, inviting to the birds, unique, and beautiful. I chose all of our character Foxy's favorite colors. Turquoise, orange, blues, greens. I warmed up my glue gun and I started to add beads, creating fun, inspiring messages on a few different sides of the birdhouse. This is a great way to use up extra beads after you've done a beading bracelet craft. Next, I took some leftover felt from the last time we made felt flowers and I made two little mini flowers to come off the side of the birdhouse. It gives a really cool 3D effect to the birdhouse. Connect it to the wall with a big dab of glue. Now grab some leftover clay from back when we made the clay wall hangings and build yourself some fun characters, flowers, cartoons, little people, small birds, anything you want. I've done two little smiley face flowers here. Don't forget that you'll need to put these in the oven at 275 for at least 15 minutes before adding to the birdhouse. Finally, finish off the birdhouse with lots and lots of paint, characters, design, fun, and more. Paint anything you want here. I added Foxy on one side. Then I added some cool sweeping vines around our pull your weeds catchphrase. If you wanna make dots, a great simple way to do that is to flip your paintbrush around and use the back end. It gives you a perfect circular dot. I added our character Birdie in a little nest on the side in the hopes that all the neighborhood birds will come and check out this new birdhouse. I finished off the design with a few flowers and spun it around to take a look. Now that our clay pieces are fully baked and cooled, I decided to add them right on the last open panel. Your final optional step, but I recommend it if you're going to keep your birdhouse outside, is to add some sort of a weather protectant layer. This is a UV proof spray and it just adds a clear layer of gloss over the whole birdhouse so that it'll stay fresh in a rainstorm. I don't recommend putting felt on if you're gonna keep it outside. I'm going to keep my birdhouse indoors. Hope you enjoy gardeners. We can't wait to see your crazy creative birdhouses. Let us know if you complete this craft and don't forget to download your badge if you do.